Hi guys, welcome back to our Gormology channel. Today's gonna be a little bit different than usual. Instead of making a dinner recipe, we're gonna make a cocktail recipe. With everything that's going on right now, we figured who doesn't need a drink? I know I do. This is one of my favorite so drinks, so I'm gonna walk you through it. I chose one drink that is my signature drink. I call it a French connection. It's only three ingredients, so I figured if you have a chance to go to the liquor store, which is still open since it's considered essential, and just some pineapple juice. So we're gonna need gin. I choose Hendrix. You could choose whichever gin make you like. This is St. Elder. It's the same exact quality of St. Germain, except it's gonna be $10 cheaper than a bottle of St. Germain. And then just some pineapple juice. So this cocktail is a martini. So we have our glass ready. And most martini glasses are between four to six ounces. These happen to be really big. They're a 10 ounce martini glass. You can make a double. This drink is going to require a half of a lime. Cut that in half. And with your juicer, right into your shaker. And then we can just set that aside. Next, I'm going to add my gin. That was two ounces. I'm gonna do three for this one since my glasses are a little big. Then I have my St. Elder, which we're just gonna do one ounce of. And last, pineapple juice. Make sure you shake it up. And that we could also do one ounce. If you don't want your drink very strong, you could do two ounces. I'm gonna get some ice. Give that a good shake. And then right into our martini glass. Cheers. Our next cocktail that we're gonna be making is a cucumber gimlet. This one's another one of my favorites and I should mention that both the French connection that I just made and this gin gimlet can be made with vodka if you prefer it over gin. First, I'm gonna take my cucumber. We're gonna do about three slices. Put them right in the bottom of our glass and muddle. You could give it quick metal. Then I'm going to add a half of a lime juice. Put that aside. Give it another quick metal. Next, I'm gonna add simple syrup. So this is homemade. You can't buy it in a store. It's literally just sugar and water. If you boil water, you're gonna mix equal parts of sugar and water, mix it together till everything is melted, stick it in the fridge, and it could last a couple weeks, and you use it for every cocktail that you make. So we're gonna do just one ounce of simple. I do like my cocktails on the sweeter side. And this is a boozy drink, so the rest of it is all gin. I'm gonna do four ounces of gin. For anybody that has a jigger at home, the bigger side is gonna be two ounces and the smaller side is one ounce. Now that this is ready, gonna turn around and get a little bit more ice. Pour your cocktail right on top. All right, now right into 
into a martini glass. And I'm gonna double strain this one so it's just so that your ice flakes aren't in there. Get a little slice of cucumber for garnish. It's just like if restaurants were still open. Cheers.